Welcome to the attic. I came across this one today. It's an old old microphone from a producer called Tomberg, the Norwegian producer. I don't know much about this microphone. I don't know it, if it works or anything. Only thing I know, it has loose ends. And those loose ends we are going to fix in this show. So, come, join me. Okay, here we go. We have the microphone. Um, Gottman XLR and some soldering equipment. So let's see what we have. We have a screened cable. You have a white cord and we have a black cord. I think the white one is the hot one and the black one is negative. It does not even matter because one of those is the main signal and the other one is uh, 180 degrees difference so it's inverted. Because this is a, um, this is a bal balanced microphone. So, in that case, if I'm wrong, nothing else will happen except that the signal will be 180 degrees wrong. And as a mono signal, I don't think you can hear that. What I'm going to do now is to find out this mess. Because this one I'm going to add here. There. There we are. Of course I could. We have pin number one, that's ground. Pin number two is uh, main signal. And pin number three is this uh, minus signal. I should have been putting a capacitor between, uh, between ground and, uh, and shield. But um, I'm not going to to do that by n uh, for now, and uh, maybe I do that if if the noise is too much. So let's go to work. Let's see this one. We absolutely don't need. Cut that one off. So before I try to do anything, I need to just think. This cable is the thin for that one, but it will it will be stopped by that one. So that's okay. Still, I'm going to use a little of this. Shh. 
Shrink tubes. Shrink tube. Shrink tubes. No, diff difficult word. So, uh, next would be this one. And then this one. Shall not be easy. Okay. Then we can start. And this is a risky business. It's a very sharp knife. All of a sudden you cut yourself. Try to avoid the mess. Like that. And here we have this screen. You need to remove this to get to the uh, to the wires, but you cannot just cut it off. We we need that screen as well. It is a part of part. It's part of the. Uh, or the wires. So what I do is carefully trying to open this mesh of uh, copper. There we go. Not totally destroyed. still has enough to protect the signal. This cotton thread we don't need, so off we go. There we have it. We have the shield. We have what I assume as the hot wire and we have the cold wire. So what's next? Like that. There we go. Now I need a helping hand. Let's see. What is needed now is to pre sold. What is needed now is some pre-soldering. I 
have been showing this before in an earlier episode in this channel. So, if you still wonder how to solder, solder in a good way, then just scroll in this channel and you will see I have at least two, at least two, maybe even three episodes how to handle this soldering. So, now it's pretty thinned. to cut away some Damn. okay and now this one now this one and um, let's see That's number one. So I'm also going to pre-solder this. That. This tiny one going down there. That's going to be exciting. Black one's going there and the white one's going there. Okay, we can work out that. To the black one first. Wow, that one became hot. And then the white one.
did not went well. Crack. So I, I have to do this once more. Very well. I think we speed up a little this time. While I'm correcting my errors, I'm going to tell a little about this microphone. It was made by, at that time, a very famous Norwegian high fidelity producer. Uh, it was Tonberg Radio Fabrik which were making that microphone. And uh, Tonberg Radio Fabrik uh, was established in 1933 uh, uh, by uh, the uh, master engineering Webjorn Tonberg, and uh, it went bankrupt in uh, 1978. In that time, they have been making a lot of different equipment used both in homes and in professional very very good amplifiers extremely well done radios and so on why they went bankrupt well you can google uh, Tomberg Radio Fabrik and check the history yourself and if you ever came over a, a Tomberg amplifier any kind of Tonberg equipment, test it out, you will be amazed. There. There you are. This is how it looks. Okay. The heat has, of course, change the positions for the pins that is not worse than it is fixable I guess and there we go Okay, so then we start to assemble.
It was absolutely not easy to find the track. Could it be like that? Let's check. And there we are. Okay. So that and you maybe wonder why I added these well course I added them in wrong ways so this one is to make the cable a little stronger just around Let's see. Yeah, then we got it. Just around there. Okay. What I'm going to do now is to. Here is a little heat. There we got it. Completed. So what's left now is to test it and see if it works. That's going to be fun. This is the main test. I have connected this microphone to the camera. We're going to be fun to see. Does it work? And how much does it work? Is it noiseless? I doubt it's noiseless. And I really, I'm really excited to check the quality. But I'm going to post this anyway. I don't mind the uh, I don't care the quality of this. If the sound is there and you can hear me, I'm going to to publish this. So then this episode is over by now. Then you know what you're going to do. You have this, you know. Click like and subscribe. And uh, if you also click this notification bell, then you get a notification next time a video is published from this channel. So until next time, bye!